This is Abe Freetanzer from cinemadailyus.com, and I'm thrilled to be here with Joshua Leonard and Jess Weixler talking about their really fun new film, Fully Realized Humans. How are you both doing today? Really good. Thank great. you, Abe. There's nice cloud cover. Feels great outside. <laughs> I'm so glad. So tell me, what was the genesis of this film for both of you? I was <laughs> pregnant, and Josh called me. <laughs> I was I was trying to stave off a uh, a creative black hole or maybe a nervous breakdown and I realized I needed to make something and that I wanted to make it quick and uh, I was I was uh, uh, I was spending a lot of time with my my daughter who was a toddler at the time while my wife was working in the UK and so I was feeling, you know, the, all the joys of, of being a fairly new parent, but also all the pull of, is, is this who I am now? Um, am I going to be any good at this? How badly am I going to screw her up? And I also knew that I was going to be home for about three weeks back in, uh, back in California during the holiday break. And so, so the thought started there. Maybe I can make something in that three weeks that I'm back. And then the second thought was, who are my favorite people to work with? And Jess was the first favorite person to work with. First favorite. First favorite. <laughs> and Jess happened to be six months pregnant at the time. And, and you know, from our talks, I knew that she was... She was kind of on, on, on the precipice of, of facing some of these bigger existential questions that I was very much in, in the midst of. And I called her and I was like, let's do a movie about two people trying to learn to be parents when you're eight months pregnant, because that's when I'll be back in town. And she said, um, I love you, but fuck you. That's a terrible idea. I'm not going to make a movie when I'm eight months pregnant. And I said, pretty please. And she was like, I don't want to talk about it. Let me think about it. And then what happened after that? And then he just kept badgering me and badgering me. <laughs> well, then we, I, we, we talked about it. I have a lot of anxiety, which you can probably tell from the film. And um, I was like, am I going to be more or less anxious? Like doing, trying to shoot a movie in a week with my friend and it turns out I'm less anxious shooting a movie because it, I, I really needed a place to exercise my demons and like release all, somewhere all of the questions and that I had about what was gonna be required of me to love somebody else that much and for somebody to need me that much um and yeah so I quite literally I had like a high blood cell count because I was so anxious and and when I started filming it went down um because we like ran around and chased ducks with dildos and stuff and that's really good for the soul uh, and, and we also <laughs> went in with you know, we, we went into this film with, with a kind of different approach and less of a, you know, less of a self-seriousness than I think sometimes we do. I gave Jess all the caveat preemptors. I, I was like, look, your health is the most important. We're going to shoot short days. Obviously, if you go into labor in the middle of the film, the film is over and we're going to make it for cheap enough that, that I won't resent you and that that's okay. This is an experiment. We're going to go out and play. We're going to be honest. We're going to make each other laugh. If there's a film at the end of it, great. And if not, you know, look at it as a, as as a, as a expensive therapy session for both of us. <laughs> and um, and and so we really didn't know until the edit whether the film itself was going to work. We knew we had a great time. We knew we made each other laugh a lot. And we knew that between those laughs, we both managed to, at least for myself, infuse some of the most honest work I've ever done. 
um, in terms of really revealing my own fears in a very cathartic way and kind of putting them on the table to be uh, poked at and laughed at. So, so there was, I, I, I think it was, I think it was a cathartic experience for both of us. And the fact that people seem to like the film is, is icing on the cake. Yeah, I think your your natural relationship really comes across very well, and it's it, it's clear that you're having fun, which I think makes it uh, more enjoyable. Is this a film that you think other pregnant couples or couples that have just had a baby should see, or do you think it's going to just uh, bring up more feelings they may not have had? Well, I think they should all 100% see it. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope it doesn't like to pick a scab off a wound, but maybe, maybe that's, that's what it's good for. I think, I feel like the, the point of being a fully realized human is clearly a joke that you can't be a fully realized human and showing your partner what a mess you are um, and trusting them with it and trusting that you guys can pull yourselves through uh, those fears and let each other face those fears, even if you're doing it terribly and you're not really <laughs> <laughs> necessarily accomplishing anything on paper. Just the act of facing your fear with your partner is so bonding. It can't help but make you stronger. And, and, and I, think, I think everybody in this film brought such a sense of uh, generosity, which really made it a, a, a joy to collaborate on. And I think part of that generosity is just, um, you know, if having a kid does one thing, it uh, disavows you of the notion that, um, that you're always gonna be right. Like you learn very quickly how, long, how, how much you're gonna be wrong whether or not you've been wrong your entire life, sometimes we convince ourselves that that we're doing a better job than than we actually are. And as soon as you have a kid, you're like, oh, I'm gonna screw up a lot. And and yet at the same time, I have this deep internal biological motivation to continue to try to do better. And and just finding the acceptance in the messiness of that both for ourselves, for our partners, and then hopefully subsequently for our friends and our family around us. And just knowing that, you know, we're, we're all a bunch of screw ups and that, and that shouldn't be a barrier to love. Do both of you have a favorite scene from the film or is it too hard to pick just one? Oh, wow, nobody's asked that. Do you have a favorite scene from the? No, I'm not going to turn it around. I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> oh. You know, I think. Josh, if you know off the top of your head, you go. I'm going to. I need a second. I mean, the uh, the chaos montage was the most fun to shoot. I was gonna talk about the chaos montage, but it's not a scene. It's just to have the best uh, memories from the chaos montage. That night, I like, we did the fire sequence and the smoke started billowing up. And I, and being eight months pregnant, I was like, oh, I feel sick Blah, and just vomited. And then we like kissed immediately after in the, like in front of the light of the fountain. It was really magical. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as your acting partner, I will kiss your vomit breath lips any day, Jess. See, look at this. Um, look at what a scene partner. <laughs> gen generos generosity of spirit. Uh, I, I will also say one of the scenes that, that it just fills me with joy that lots of people have brought up and that I get to talk about is the hummus scene. Um, because, because the hummus scene, the hummus fight is, is an actual fight that my real life wife picked with me while she was pregnant. And it got almost as vicious as it did in the movie. And she was a little upset that I was using it for the movie, but I was like, 
And it's like, you live with a writer director. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, I definitely had to ask her blessing, but I did it after. I asked forgiveness <laughs> instead of permission. <laughs> But what makes me so happy about it was it was it was one of those it was a fight that was so in when it happened in my real life it was so weirdly specific and like ridiculous that I was like this this is a funny fight to put on screen and then the fact that we've had so many people who have seen the film come and say I've had that exact fight with my partner makes me feel so much less crazy and so much less alone in the world. <laughs> it really brings me joy. Also, there's something about hummus where like, sometimes people buy too much of that. It's weird that people can't remember when there's hummus already in the fridge. There's different flavors of hummus. Sometimes you want a variety of hummuses. I don't know, and it does go bad fast once you open it. Well, I, I think that's I think that's all the time we have. But anybody watching should absolutely check out Fully Realized Humans when it opens on VOD this Friday, July 30th, to see more of this fantastic uh, dynamic. Thank you both so much for speaking with me today. Thank, Thank you. you. It was a joy. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.